In today's first reading, we come face to face with a paradox of the Christian life. And the paradox is this. When the disciples of Jesus are persecuted or misunderstood, they are not driven to despair. When followers of the Lord are struck down, they are not destroyed. Instead, persecutions, mistreatment, and misunderstanding become the means by which a Christian shares in the suffering of Jesus himself. And so we hear in the second letter to the Corinthians these encouraging words. We hold this treasure in earthen vessels that the surpassing power of God may be of God and not from us. We hold this treasure in earthen vessels that the surpassing power may be of God and not from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not constrained, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed, always caring about in the body the dying of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our body. As we ponder the meaning of these words for our daily life, Perhaps we could take a minute to think of those Christians around the world who are persecuted simply for believing in Jesus Christ. Closer to home, we too might experience subtle or overt ways in which the Christian faith is misrepresented, misunderstood, or even deliberately persecuted. As we hear God's word today, we are reminded to draw strength from the Lord at all times and in all the circumstances of daily life. We are given renewed hope to trust that God's power is at work in our lives, in the midst of difficulties and opposition. And we are called to be faithful to the Lord who has promised to be with us always, even to the end of time. Have a blessed day.